may his son no can be cursed to a thousand flaming eternities. It was not enough that he ruined our little arms deal. He also stole my emerald. He has the devil's own luck in escaping. But I swear I'll give him his comeuppance if it's the last thing I ever do. Greenonk, keep a close watch on the harbour. Arrest anyone trying to put out to sea. Yes, Your Excellency. I'll have you yet, Sandokan. Yes. Hands up, hands up! Brooke's soldiers and Suleiman's guards are looking for us everywhere. Think of something, little brother. If they find us, we're done for. The harbor is being watched, too. If we head for the Sea Tiger, they'll spot us. We have to risk it. The Sea Tiger is the only chance we've got right now. <gasps> the Sultan's Grand Vizier and some guards are coming. And guess who they're looking for? We need some place to hide. Get in the cart, quick! Look everywhere! They must be out here! You! Lift that cover, quickly! What's under there? What would there be, sir? My spare stock? I said lift the cover! What do you say we give him a lesson? At times, I think you're a mind reader. Tigers of Montpersem, show them who we are! <laughs> Get him, man! He's the one! Our glorious Sultan is counting on you! down to the harbor and take possession of the Sea Tiger. Now hurry, Jiro Batol will let you know when the ship's ready to sail. <laughs> what would you say if we borrowed your cart, my friend? I'd say thank you for defending me, and you better take it quickly. <laughs> Thanks, I won't forget this. Good luck to you. Identify yourselves! The tavern keeper sent us to the market to buy this wine for him, officer. That is all very well, but raise your hats and give us a look at your faces. It's all right, Corporal. They're just who they say they are. They are in my employment. I answer for them. You saved our lives. Thank you. Just as I imagined, the soldiers are patrolling every avenue of escape. There she is! There's the Sea Tiger! I can't wait to have her deck under my feet again. Hmm, what an unexpected honor! Brooke and Gwilink on the key! Without their ship, they're trapped for sure. They've escaped from your traps before, Gwilank. This time, I'm taking no chances. They're going to tow her out to that frigate. We don't dare attack them. We're hopelessly outnumbered. What we have to do is find an alternative solution. We'll search further down the coast. Now, there's a beauty. <laughs> An obtrusive, too. And a little too large. That one might be big enough. We should take a closer look at it, but it's not going to be easy with all these soldiers around. Perhaps I could be of help to you, worthy gentlemen. Uh, Nosiness can be bad for your health, friend. I believe I heard you gentlemen say you required a ship. And I can offer you exactly what you're looking for. There. That garbage scow? If you're on the run, you can't afford to be choosy. We're not being choosy. How much do you want for it? Well, ordinarily, it would be a hundred malaki, but for immediate delivery, five. Plus another five hundred to pilot you out of the harbor. And another five for charity. No, he's <laughs> gonna give it to us for free. No, he's a rotten swindler, but he's right. We need someone to take us through the cargo check. <sighs> You'll have your thousand, Malaki, if the ship is ready to sail within the hour. 
It will be as you have ordered, sir. Trust me. I wouldn't trust that rat for a second. We have to trust him. We have no choice. <clears throat> How are we going to pay that rascal? We have Sultan Suleiman's emerald. That'll do the trick. It's my emerald, and it's worth at least 200,000 malaki. and the hold is ready. This craft is going to sink like a sieve within the hour. Something tells me it was a mistake to leave him alone. All the provisions are stowed, sir. We can't set sail. You know, this looks more like a shipwreck than a ship. When I think what a fortune I had in my pocket. In my town, they say a person's true wealth lies not in his pocket, but in his heart. I guess that's why they say a good person has a heart of gold. Don't worry, Paco, that includes you too. Uh, oh. Well, she's no beauty, but at least she'll get us to Mamperson, and that's all that counts. Don't go counting your chickens until they're hatched. We're not out of the woods yet, Marianne. It would be wise if you hid in the cabin until we're well past the checkpoint. He's right. We mustn't raise anyone's suspicions. You down there! No one leaves the harbor without a special permit! I have a fishing permit, your honor. All in order! Hmm. Don't need me anymore. I will accept my compensation. It's been a pleasure doing business with you, Sandokan. Finally on our way home. We're going to go very slow with that mainsail. Well, I have this needle case, but how do we get up there? We'll have to drop the sails and fix them on deck. Don't worry, I can do it. Look, not even I can climb that fast. That's just what we needed. The sail is falling apart. That's the kind of girl I could settle down with. <laughs> Was that you said, little brother? Oh, nothing. Just that she's very obliging and dutiful. I'm gonna go catch up on my sleep. I <laughs> said sick to his heart. We turned the whole town upside down, sir! No sign of him! The whole group can't have disappeared into thin air. Continue the search. Very good, sir. Now the time has come to double our money. If your excellency can spare me a moment, I believe I can tell you something very much to your advantage. I haven't any time for ragtag beggars who won't mind their own business. Send him on his way immediately, His Gilon. excellency has no time for beggars. That means he's not interested in capturing Sandokan after all. Sandokan? Uh, what information do you have about him? Speak up, man, quickly. Precious information requires precious retribution, your excellency. Damn your ah. impudence. It had better be worth every last farthing. Give him a hundred guineas, Guilonk. He just fled Balabak Harbor in my fishing trawler, the Red Prawn. But I cut a little hole in her hull. I don't think she'll be going much further. Since you appear to be so extraordinarily well informed, perhaps you can give me a clue, however vague, as to the whereabouts of a certain emerald of mine. If, as I suspect, it is upon your person, you can either hand it over or be searched by my little pet. The choice is entirely yours. <laughs> Now I've got my emerald back. The only thing I need to complete my joy is for you to get Sandokan. It shall be attended to. Have the captain prepare to weigh anchor. What shall we do with the pirate ship, Your Excellency? We'll take her to Laboan and scuttle her right there in the harbor. That way, everyone will know that the famous tiger has been defeated. <laughs> Mike told me about Assam. It's at the foot of the Himalayas. Yes, and the last time I saw it, it was very beautiful too. But that was many years ago. You mean many... someone kidnapped you and sold you to the Sultan? I've never been able to find out who stole me from my family and took me out of my country. 
Now I want to go back as soon as possible to find out the truth. Well, until then, you're welcome to stay with us, dear. I'm sure you'll love Mompersum. Oh, of course. And while we're at it, why don't we open a finishing school for young debutantes? That's not the Yanis I know. Well, pay no attention to him, Sarama. It's just that sometimes sailing gets on his nerves a little. I don't think he likes having me around. I know I'm being impolite and churlish, Paco, but I can't help it. I'm getting too fond of that girl. If this wind holds, we'll be in Mompersem no later than dawn tomorrow. Hooray! I can't wait! I wouldn't be too complacent about the situation, little brother. The Zook's done nothing but tingle in my pocket ever since we left. What did I tell you? It's showing red. That means danger's loom. What the devil was that? She sprung a leak in the hold! We're shipping water! Take it easy, girls. We're not dead yet. Just hold on tight. You two, into the hold and see if there's anything you can do to plug that leak. Can't be done! I could be wrong, little brother, but I have a feeling we've been double-crossed. If so, it means he wanted to make even more money off us by selling us out to guess whom. No need to waste any more ammunition, is there? We've put paid to them once and for all. Welcome aboard. As always, the weak are defeated. That's right, as I have defeated you and will continue to do so. Chain him to the mainmast. I want all of Labuan to see him disgraced. Oh no, you mustn't do that. Lock the rest of them up in the bilges. We'll hang them tomorrow morning. Surely you don't mean to lock Lady Marianne in the bilges, Your Excellency? For your information, Guilong, my niece Lady Marianne deserves a harsher punishment than any of them, understand? But, sir, I and we, uh, that is she and us, I mean... If you cannot be coherent, then please keep silent. But, sir, her and we, I mean me and us... Oh, I... very well, Guilong, do whatever you wish. Ladies, if you'll step into my cabin, you'll find it a great deal more comfortable. You're lucky we're not armed, that's all I can say. If I had my machete, I'd show you a few tricks. We are not going to get out of these too easily. We're chained down here, he's chained to the mast, we're in a pickle. Here you are. <laughs> if you need anything, have me call. What do we do now? Somehow we've got to take advantage of the situation. We're the only chance the others have. It won't be easy. I thought they might have forgotten to bolt the door. Here's the sleeping potion you gave me to give to the Sultan's guards. Remember, Sarama? Only a few drops left. What a pity. It's a start. Your Excellency, your niece asks if you can receive her. Very well, show her in, Haltham. Then see to it we're not disturbed. Yes, sir. Well, hmm? Thank you for receiving me, Uncle James. It was kind of you. If you've come to tell me you're repentant, then I'll tell you immediately that I don't believe a word of it. What you've done is unpardonable. I'm a laughingstock here in Borneo and soon will be throughout the Empire. Imagine what they're saying. Governor Brooks' niece has run off with a dastardly outlaw. Getting angry isn't going to help, Uncle James. Why don't you calm down with a nice cup of chocolate? Here, I'm sure it'll do you good. Thank you. There, you're feeling better already, I'll wager. It's just the sleeping potion I gave you, Uncle. Oh, no, you don't need this. Is everything all right in there? I heard a crash. Just a broken cup. The governor wants to speak to the other two prisoners in Lord Guilang's cabin. I'll fix them immediately, milady. Are you sure everything's all right, Your Excellency? Should I search for... <laughs> Put on his uniform, Sarama. Go! Go get Guilong's uniform! Look all right? You stay here and guide the prisoners. I'm gonna take this back to its rightful owner, right? 
I can't wait to see those poets strung up. Lord Brook won't go so far as to have his knees saved, will he? That'll break me Lord Guilard's heart. <laughs> <laughs> Coming down with a bit of a cold, my lord. Well, I'd get out of the wind and rain if I were you. Uh, were you wanting to see the prisoner, my lord? You'll be doing that pirate quite a service, my lord. You'll be getting lonely up there without his... Uh, I mean, without your girlfriend. Absolutely dotty, as I say. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up, Lord Quilunk. No one tames a tiger. I'm perfectly well aware of that, my darling. There he is. Suram and Kamamori are guarding my uncle in his cabin, but if Quilunk finds out we've escaped, he'll give the alarm. We must hurry, my love. Go back to them and wait for me there. I'm going to try and free the others in the hold. Hurry, and good luck. <clears throat> what was that strange noise? Welcome surprise, little brother. I can't wait to hear how you did it. I'll tell you the story one night when we're sitting around the fire in Montbrasset. Right now, we have work to do. Ah, with these, maybe we'll get a little more respect around here. It's Greelonk. I've brought you something to eat, ladies. Oh dear, there's nobody here. My uniform is missing. Guards, the prisoners have escaped. At your orders, sir. Corporal, pay attention. The game's up if they see us. The two women and the child have escaped. We have to find them before they try to free Sandakan and the others. We've already searched the whole hold, sir, and it's empty, and Sandakan is no longer chained to the mast. Just what I feared. Go give the alarm on the quarterdeck. I'll inform His Excellency immediately. Hurry! The cat's out of the bag. You two board the ship. Yanitz and I will look for the others. <laughs> Cut the sea tiger loose from the warship! We'll take these kegs of gun come in handy for the final farewell! Oh dear, Guilong must have found out! And all we have is one rifle and the pistol over there on the desk! I fancy this may be the weapon you're referring to, as my dear niece knows I'm what they call a crack shot. Your Excellency, I'm afraid the prisoners have escaped! I don't know how it could have happened, but they're here! Of course they're here, you idiot! And Sandokan is sure to surrender when he sees we have them. <laughs> Or I shall be forced to do an injury to someone dear to you. True to form, Brooke, hiding behind a woman. Here. <coughs> what was that you were saying about the weak always being defeated? <coughs> Sea Tiger, I'll join you as soon as I can make it! We can't just leave him here yet. He knows what he's doing. Come on, Marianne. for one percent. I thought we could leave them a little souvenir. What do you think? That's very generous <laughs> of you, little brother. <laughs> All's well that ends well, I always say. Big Leon, you think Brook is still trying to put out the fire? It would be nice if his ship were smoked like a headache by the time he makes port. <laughs> a toast to the Tigers of Montprasem! I wonder why Yanitz isn't here. You 
You look a little down in the dumps, little brother. Why don't you tell me what's bothering you? Oh, I never thought such a disaster would ever befall me. I think I'm in love. Well, you're right. That's really bad news. Yes, but it's obviously too late now. Ever since we met, I've done nothing but go around trying to be as nasty and unpleasant to her as I can. Sounds like the time has come for you to show her your true feelings. What will happen if I get carried away again and say something rude? I know it's easier said than done, Yanis, but don't say anything at all. Just kiss her. The moon's beautiful tonight. Yes, absolutely breathtaking. I come here whenever I can. I like to enjoy the view by myself and the silence. I often need solitude and silence too. It's a way of regaining your energy. What you just said is startling, Sarama. It's as though you just read my mind, or should I say my heart. This is the first time I've ever confessed to feeling this way. You're very close to my heart too, Yanitz. That's why it's going to be so hard to leave here without you. You're leaving us? I must go back to Assam and find out about my family. I can't wait another day, Yanitz. And that means we'll never see each other again. I knew it would end up like this. Never trust a girl, Paco. You open your heart to one and... Stop talking, Yanitz. Thank you, my friends. You've been so wonderful to me. I'll never forget you. We'll never forget you either, Sarama. You're one of us now, and you can count on us always. This is a token of my promise. <laughs> what promise? Her promise to come back this way one day and visit a friend. <laughs>